The motion on the poor state of roads in Niger State was moved by Niger North Senator and Deputy Chief Whip of the Senate, Ali Sabi Abdullahi. All movement from north to south substantially traverse the state. Indeed, the massive haulage of heavy industrial goods such as petroleum products, iron rods, cement, finished manufactured goods, machines and equipment, electronic materials and goods, building materials, etc., in which trucks and tankers are overloaded, put great pressure on the roads, and those are seriously devastating to the state of the roads in Niger State. Costly observations and reports indicate that many trucks and tankers are loaded with up to 90,000 tons of goods, and all vehicles are consistently overloaded well above their approved tonnage. And the motion prompted contributions from other Niger lawmakers who accused the Minister of Works and Housing, Babatunde Raji Fashola, of bias in his attitude to road construction and repairs in their state. At the pace of the budgetary allocation to, to rehabilitate the roads in Niger state, it will take eternity to fix the roads in Niger state. Therefore, I support the motion by my brother that what we require is special intervention funding for the road in Niger State. That is urgently required. The Minister of Works should realize that Nigeria is a large country and we need everywhere to be taken seriously. The Minister of Works is one-sided. He is one-sided. So what we need in this country is equal opportunity for every sector. Every sector of this country needs equal opportunity. I don't see the reason why other states would benefit from federal roads and Niger State will not have it. And the motion got the nod of the Senate. I urge the federal government to consider an emergency intervention fund for the critical roads in Niger State to the tune of 300 billion naira to concurrently fix the roads as part of the infrastructure rehabilitation efforts of the government to support ease of business and economic recovery across the country. Those in favor of prior three say aye. Those against any direct Meanwhile, the Minister of Works and Housing, Raji Fashola, had directed the contractor handling the construction of the Lambata La Paibida Road to embark on remedial works on critical sections of the roads in order to bring relief to commuters. The minister had noted that the inclement weather condition is affecting the progress of work on the road, thus making it unmotorable, especially between kilometers 45 to 50, to articulated vehicles and trailers conveying petroleum products and others. Godfrey Eshemogi, Galaxy News, Abuja.